Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a wild and crazy couple in love that loves some Wild Card Wednesdays. It's Wild Card Wednesday. And what that means, if you're new to the channel, is that uh, so we release a schedule for our reactions on Sunday, which you should check out on our community post, for the upcoming week, for Monday through Friday. Um, and then on Wednesdays, we leave open for something random or something new. And uh, this one was actually a patron voted uh, video. We gave them a couple options and they voted to react to all of the Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. So that is what we're finally doing right now. We've done one video a while ago, uh, and now we're getting to all of them, and uh, you know, it's one of the best games ever, so we're looking forward to uh, checking out the trailers and eventually playing it on the channel. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. some money for me, boy. I've seen your name in our ledger. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. We got lawmen in three different states after us. They chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. We need an extra gun. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. You're the only one of these fools that I trust. Where's our money? Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. <laughs> Product not yet rated. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. But trust me, we will. Wake him up a little! It's a cool looking gun. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is pretty much done. We're more ghosts than people. You've got to keep faith. They will not crush us. Hmm. Good old Dutch. My best friend. You know how we met? A pair of hucksters trying to rob each other. Back in 78 or thereabouts. You have to love yourself a fire. It's one of the blessings. Sure, we can have fire. And we can have the knowledge of fire. But with that comes the knowledge of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes, he exhausts me. make mistakes. You will never change. I know that. All of you venerate savagery. And you will die savagely. Stay 
America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living world that's not simply open, but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy? Combining action, storytelling, we need to get those people warm and fed, and gameplay in new ways. As you live, nice. ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more all populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn-of-the-century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. <laughs> you play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So. Save the silly bastard's life and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets. Oh, that's things cool. to do and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare tree? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Escalate. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your Christmas. treatment of the animal. Oh. Still, girl. Some breeds are better suited Not for bad. certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent work horse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. 
Did you want to read them? Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. <laughs> a rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Oh! Whoa. Yeah. With Red Dead Redemption I mean, 2, Rockstar Games has set out to create its most ambitious. Although it's moving so slow, I'm sure you can catch up. It is an epic tale of outlaw life that seamlessly blends story with action. I nice shot. Arthur. Let's go, quick! An exploration with choice, all under mm -hmm. the constant threat of danger. <laughs> the world is full of adventures and experiences that you discover naturally. Hey, 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 hold it right there! As you move fluidly from one moment to another. Gentlemen. You all know what to do. Arthur can undertake a wide array of nefarious activities with his fellow gang members. Yeah. Some are large-scale heists. Come on. While others are more personal. Let's go! Come on. <laughs> Rob a train, passerby, or a coach. Anyone is out here. Hold up a store, burgle a house, or go loan sharking. I'm here for money. Where is it? Or you can simply go off and explore alone, if you're feeling brave enough. The countryside, towns, and frontier are full of rival gangs and outlaws. Each different, but all of them deadly. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? In this rapidly civilizing world, lawmen are cunning. Whether tracking known outlaws or investigating a crime scene. Mother have mercy. Now I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. Get a price on your head and bounty hunters will track you down. Arthur must always be prepared to defend himself against whatever is thrown at him. <laughs> The Deadeye system has been expanded and will progress in stages, allowing you to slow time, oh. aim targets, and see critical or fatal points of your enemies. Oh. How and when you use it is up to you. Your experience is defined by the choices and decisions you make for Arthur. Thank you, sir. You can, of course, choose what to wear, ride, eat, and which guns to carry. Shave, bathe, or don't. It's up to you. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 is full of things to do. There are countless secrets to uncover and people to meet. You can get into raucous altercations, take in a show, chase down bounties, fight a duel, and a lot more. Oh. Be careful out there. 
this is nasty country. Your behavior has consequences, and people will remember you and your actions. Son of a bitch. You can also experience the game in first person. in the world with new cinematic cameras for some stunning views. The result is a world that is deep, teeming with life, and very menacing. This world has its consolation. The video was captured entirely from in game footage at the end. Yeah. And you think that was really interesting. Like, one you know. yep. big score. We got enough money to leave. What do you think? Yeah. Nothing means more to me than this game. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Trust me, Arthur. Just one more. That's all a goddamn train. Uh, I don't want to kill all these food Dutch. Just you. What about loyalty? It's all to what matters. Do as you're goddamn told. It is us or him. Red Dead Redemption 2, coming October 26th, rated M for Mature. Okay, so as I was watching it, the only thing I can think of, I mean, not the only thing, but like the thing that kept popping up in my mind was that this is like the safe version of Westworld. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm yeah. like, this is the gateway drug to, to Westworld. And it's, uh, especially when you do like the first person uh, view. And, and whatnot, I'm just like, all right, you know, but you don't have to worry about, like, killer robots or anything like that or, you know, traumatizing the, the AI. I mean, at least not yet. You yeah, know, as, far, as far as we know. Virtual reality is coming, and then after that, killer robots. Killer robots, yeah, that's just a natural progression. <laughs> so what do you think? I really enjoyed it. Um, it seems like a, a very rich world to explore. I had the same thought as as you about Westworld. It just kept coming back up into my, yep. my mind over and over again. Especially when he, he approaches the farmhouse and they were like those three bandits who he shoots that's like exactly in the first episode of westworld where where the damsel's in distress and it's her daddy's farm that's being robbed by the bandits and okay yeah anyway it also occurred to me as i was you know sitting here in in our living room in the comforts of sort of modern society yes how nice that is i mean we do bathe on a regular basis and <laughs> you know things like that which is nice they were often like mud covered and sleeping in tents and bathing was optional. But aside from that, it did occur to me how beautiful and majestic yeah. our country was before we became so hell-bent on taming it. When there were less people, when there were more open spaces and, and the natural beauty of this country, our country had some pretty spectacular beauty to it. Yes, and a lot of parts of the country still do. They do. We've just built over quite a few of them. But by and large, with our, our natural forests and stuff that are preserved, we still get to see some of it, but... I mean, there are some parts where it definitely improved. I mean, Chicago is basically built over, like, a swamp, so I think that's, like, an improvement over what was what was there before it. I would like to live in a swamp, so yeah, we'll go with that. I like all the different uh, options for it. I like how, you know, the choices you make kind of, like, affects the gameplay yes. and affects the story. That, that people you, that, remember you. Yeah, that people remember you. Um, that, uh, I like that as well. It's been, like, not, you know, it's not brand new. It's been other games as well. Um, like, you know, different choices, whether you could be, like you know, go the, the good path or go the bad path and, like, you know, um, how people kind of treat you based on that. Um, but, like, in just this Western world, I've always uh, really liked Westerns and so uh, kind of, like, very excited to play this and um, play, as an, play as an outlaw and, you know, be a little, bit, a little bit bad but also a little bit good, you know. So a little bit, a nice little healthy balance. Because you can't, I mean, if you're an outlaw, you got to be, you know, somewhat bad. I just love how, um, as you were talking about, you know, choosing whether you're going to go down the good path or the evil path, it again brought up the first episode of Westworld, which the the guy who's jumping into this world for the first time has to choose his hat. Mm, yeah. And does he choose the white Stetson or does he choose the black Stetson? Is he going to be good or is he going to be bad? And I like that that nod to traditional Western films in that that was sort of that 
perhaps maybe sort of a defining moment there for him as to like which path were you going to go down. Obviously, we all know which way it goes, but <laughs> at least if you've seen it, you know. I really like the gameplay trailers. I think they did a great job showcasing yes. the world. Um, the one I said that was that was my favorite one still ended up being my favorite one okay. um, throughout the throughout the whole one because uh, I just thought it like it kind of got me more invested in the story of it all. The gameplay showed like you know want me to got me to want to play it, and the story got me to want to kind of experience it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so let us know uh, which one of your favorite trailers were uh, in this compilation that we watched for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and, you know, if you played it, and I think most people have, just let us know uh, how much you loved it and uh, where it ranks in your top games of all time. A lot of people have it up there as, like, you know, the best game of all time or their, you know, top five. Uh, so it's always curious to, uh, you know, figure out, like, you know, to, to, see, to see where it ranks for, for different people. Now that you've seen our reaction to Red Dead Redemption 2, all the cinematic trailers, just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>